welcome to renov chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic atomic structure in atomic structure on bohr's model how questions will be asked generally how questions are asking based on this uh, in bohr's atomic model in abstract neat je mains like competitive exams in my previous video i have discussed various expressions or various formulas derived from the bohr's theory for calculating radius energy velocity time period and so on in this video i am going to discuss how bits are asking on this bohr's atomic model thank you for watching tranad chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so the first one is if the radius of the first bohr orbit be y then radius of the third bohr orbit of hydrogen would be right so ante first bohr orbit yokka radius ent ichadu y ichadu radius of the third orbit of hydrogen would be enta uddu nadugutunnaru right options em ichadu 3y 6y 9y and y by 3 we know that the expression for the radius of the nth orbit is radius of the nth orbit is n square h square by n square h square by 4 pi square m z k z is so this is the expression for the radius of the nth orbit so if we substitute the constant values h pi m mass of the electron and <coughs> we will get expression as the 0.529 into m square by z thanks to 0.529 into n square into n square into z by n square into z by n square by z angstrom units n square by z angstrom units. now what is the question question given that radius of the first orbit is r1 n is equal to 1 so now for hydrogen atom z value is 1 that's why so 1 square by 1 angstrom so this is 0.529 angstrom right now third orbit would be what is the question the radius of the third orbit would be then 0.529 n is third orbit n is equal to 3 3 square by so for hydrogen atom again z value is 1 that's why i am strong so this is 0.529 and strong now it is becoming 9 r1 so here given that r1 is the y that's why answer will be the 9 answer will be the 9 so answer will be the 9y so option c is the correct answer so given that radius of the first bohr orbit be y then the radius of the third orbit of the hydrogen would be so we know that expression for the radius of the nth orbit n square h square by 4 pi square 4 pi square m k into z is square where k is the constant m is the mass of the electron z is the atomic number e is the charge of the electron and h is the planck's constant so if we substitute the values planck's constant mass of the electron k and e we will get an expression these were things were discussed in my previous video uh, i am sent i am putting this link the link of that video in comment section right rn is equal to 0.529 into n square by z angstrom units now if we substitute n so this is the question so the next question is which hydrogen like species which hydrogen like species will have which hydrogen like species will have the same atomic radius as that of bohr's bohr orbit of hydrogen atom so hydrogen like species ante ente hydrogen lo em untai one electron containing species right hydrogen ente one electron containing species సో మనకి హైడ్రోజన్ లాంటి క్రింది వాటిలో దేంట్లో హైడ్రోజన్కి ఎంత అటామిక్ రేడియస్ ఉంటుందో అంత రేడియస్ ఉంటుందని చెప్తున్నాడు అండి 
right hydrogen like species will have the same atomic radius as that of as that of both orbit of hydrogen atom both orbit of hydrogen atom now hydrogen like species means he plus this is also one electron containing species li2 plus this is also one electron we know that the atomic number of lithium is 3 that's why it has three protons and three electrons if i removing two electrons i am getting the species li2 plus similarly pe2 plus be3 plus right similarly boron 4 plus all these are all these are one electron containing species that's why we are calling them as hydrogen hydrogen like species hydrogen like species now let me discuss how to solve this so we know that rn is equal to 0. 0. 0.0.529 into n square by j so for hydrogen atom hydrogen atom so first bohr orbit is 0. 0.529 into 1 square by 1 this is 0. 0.5 right now so what is the first option given first option given was given was n is equal to 2 li2 plus n is equal to 2 li2 plus so so for first bohr orbit in li2 plus if you take r1 gives what is the value 0 0.529 into 2 square by li2 plus li atomic number is 3 that's why it is 0 0.529 into 2 square by 3 so this is becoming 4 by 3 into 0 0.5 so this is not the correct answer. Now let me take uh, uh, the next example, next uh, option. N is equal to two B E two plus. N is equal to two B E two plus. So if you take R one for this, zero point five two nine into. So N is equal to two. That's why two square. And the uh, beryllium atomic number is four. Beryllium atomic number is four. That's why this is becoming zero point five. So. N is equal for n is equal to two share beryllium two plus has same atomic radius as that of the first bore orbit of the hydrogen atom. First bore orbit of the hydrogen atom. Let me discuss the third or second or next option also. He plus R one is equal to zero point five two nine into four by two. Right, this is becoming zero point five two nine into two times so much. Then the last option is n is equal to three Li three plus. Now, R1 is equal to 0 0.529 into 3 square by, right here, 2 square it is, 3 square by 3. So, 0 0.529 into 3. Right? So, here, hydrogen, which of the, for which hydrogen-like species will have the same atomic radius as that of the, same atomic radius as that of the bore orbit of hydrogen atom. First bore orbit of the hydrogen atom. So, and the hydrogen atom low on a 20. Atomic hydrogen atom, first bore orbit of the hydrogen atom. Yanthun to the Krindi water, then you can do an adite concrete, give them gamma, solve just. Next one is radius of the third bore orbit of hydrogen atom. Radius of the third bore orbit of the hydrogen atom. So, you could have mark options in tent values each each and the So, our radius of the first bore orbit, Rn is the nth bore orbit is into n square by z. So, hydrogen atom and jipnam gabati, z value and token is 1. Z value and third 1. So, ante R1 is equal to z value and token R1. Right? So, ante mark it R1 is equal to n token and 0.529 into 1 square by 1. And the token 0.529. Third orbit that you get third orbit that you zero point five two nine into three square by one and a zero point five two nine into three. Right? So it and seven two eight one point five eight seven and strong. So Mankakara options to Idun Tundi, Manam Dini answer chip at the moment. Next one is 
if the velocity of an electron in the second orbit of hydrogen atom is x, if the velocity of electron in the second orbit of the hydrogen atom is x, then velocity in the fourth orbit, velocity in the fourth orbit, right? So, in my previous video, I have derived an expression for the velocity of electron in its nth bore orbit is, in its nth bore orbit is, Vn is equal to, Vn is equal to, 2.188 into 2.188 into 10 to the power of 8 10 to the power of 8 into z by n z by n centimeters per second z by n centimeters per second now question is question is so the second the electron in the second bore orbit, second orbit is until B2 is equal to. So for hydrogen atom, Z is equal to 1, 2.188 into 10 to the power of 8 into second orbit is 1 by 2. So this is equal to X. Now, what is the for fourth orbit? For fourth orbit, 2.188 into Z is equal to 1 and N is equal to. So this is becoming. This is becoming, right, I am writing 2.188 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So, this is entire becomes V1. V1 is V2. This is equal to X by 2. So, answer is X by 2. Answer is X by 2. So, the question is here, velocity, velocity, velocity of electron, velocity of electron in the second Bohr orbit. In the second Bohr orbit, Bohr orbit of hydrogen atom is X. Then velocity of the electron, of an electron, in the fourth Bohr, the Bohr orbit is. So we know the expression is like this. Right, the kinetic energy of, the kinetic energy of electron in the hydrogen atom, in its first second and third orbits are in the ratio right the kinetic energy of electron in the hydrogen atom in its first second and third orbits are in the ratio right so in my previous video i have discussed the expression for the kinetic energy is 13.6 into z square by 13.6 into z square by n square electron 13.6 into z square by z square by n square. Now, the question is here, the kinetic energy ratio for hydrogen atom in its first, second and third orbits. That means, this is the for nth orbit, Ke n is equal to. So, Ke 1 is to Ke 2 is to Ke. Now it is becoming 13.6 into for hydrogen atom. This is 1 square by 1 square is to 13.6 into 1 square by 2 square. And this is 13.6 into 1 square by 3 square. So now 13.6 in all the terms cancel. That's why 1 is to 1 by 2 square is to 1 by 3 square. So 1 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 4. So this is what. Right. So here, uh, question is, kinetic energy is ratio educated. Right. So the next one is, next one is, the energy, the energy that is needed to remove, needed to remove an electron from First Bohr orbit is Bohr orbit of hydrogen atom is. So options are given like this 2.23 electron volts, 40.8 electron volts, then C is 13.6 electron volts, and D is 54.4. Right? The energy that is needed to remove an electron, the energy that is needed to remove 
an electron that is needed to remove an electron from first bore orbit of hydrogen atom. So first bore orbit low one not one to electron is remove chitanaki. Yanta energy of from one. So again, we know that energy expression is n is equal to minus 13.6 by n square. Minus 13.6 by n square. Minus 13.6 by n square electron volts per hour. Electron volts per hour. Right? So, you have complete ga remove chai ga. And E1 is equal to, this is the first orbit. Minus 13.6 by n square means n is equal to 1. This is minus 13.6 electron. So, you have complete ga remove chai ga li ente kanakari. It has to be taken from the infinite distance. Because, Orbits from the bed with this here. And the n2 is equal to e infinity. And the n2 is minus 13.6 by infinity square. So this is nothing but g. Now, n energy of the moon is e infinity minus e1. e infinity minus e1. So this is 0 minus minus of 13.6. So answer is between 13.6. So c is the correct answer. Right, so Marki, E. Bohr's atomic model, E. Vadamina Bitsu, Yana, Adagatana, Kaukasamundi, E. Epset Logani, J. E. Mains Logani, Neat Logani, Miku, me the Giron of Puskalo, even when doubts on a pretty put in comment section, Lo Miru, Adagandi, as early as possible, I will respond. At the earliest, I will try to respond. Thank you for watching Trenath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel.